Yo, what's up, Panda Squad? My name is Panda Twenty Sa, and it's Halloween, um, for now, at least. And today, I want to do a video about my. Since that uh, there's some quests out there that I like, really enjoy, like Golden Trophy, Crimson Cauldron, Jumbotron, Crescendo, Owl Lost Skulls. I'm gonna be doing a number, a top five. Um, list of my favorite things, of my opinions. Now, y'all can do y'all's opinions, but these are my opinions, so yeah. Let's get on with the video, and make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, become one of the panda crew, and yeah. Let's, let's get started in the top five list. So the reason why I think, uh, Owl Lost Skulls is a number five in my opinion it's a very glitchy game and a very hard game and a lot of people want the eye patch and want to get carried and stuff but I think it's a really fun adventurous game um... it's a three player game I wish it was four but it's more challenging if you do it that way and it took me a really long time to get Skywag. it probably took me about like maybe two or one month so way less time than the freaking midnight set um and the boss he's actually really easy like you, in, in case if you know what to do like with the cannon like you hit him three times and stuff but if you are new at the boss battle and don't know about that it's kind of hard but that's that's what I, that's my opinion but um yeah so that's why I think that all lost schools is on number five so yeah let's get let's move on to m number four shall we so the reason why I think number four is on uh, crimson collagen is because you can't really find that many good players a lot usually you find level tens or twenties that are like asked to get carried or thinks that they're like really good at the game and it's act this quest is like way harder than Golden Trophy it has way more enemies uh... more enemies like shooters and uh... the I forgot the cannon guys and they, they have some new weapons but the shooters are actually really annoying cause they can just kill you um... with a sphere like even, even, like, because for some reason I keep on hitting the shield, and it's just really annoying. So, and the, the boss, he's kind of glitchy, because, like, whenever I keep on throwing the ball at him, it just, like, freaking hits back at me immediately, or, like, just stops moving or something, or, like, hits back at me and kills me, so that's why. Jumbotron is a really challenging game, especially on solo, because I haven't been able to do it solo yet, but I'm working on it. The fastest act that I've done so far is probably I stopped till Act 5, and that's how I've got so far. But as you can see here, you haven't seen it yet, but I'm going to die soon in this clip uh, while I was working on this video, so I was like, who cares, I don't need to be good for this video. So yeah, and the boss is pretty hard because every if you if you kill all three uh, like TVs, it just goes mad like actually because I don't even know how solos even do that. I need to look up a video of like if there's a hiding spot or something there because I don't really look at videos. I just I just hope for the best. And yeah, and that was pr probably dumb for me to do <laughs> how I just jumped to the shotgun. This is me uh, saying this right before it happened. Uh, and it's. And the enemies uh, and the quest, I actually really like it. So I'm going to have to put this on number three. And so, yeah, that's, that's the reason why I love this game. Okay, uh, next up is Golden Trophy. And a lot of you might be saying. 
Panda, why, why, why is number two going trophy out of all the quests, all the adventures? Why is going trophy on number two? Well, even though it's the boring quest, I think it actually is a boring quest. But the reason why I play it is if you if you get all of the items inside the games inside the chests, you just earn rewards like tokens, food, other crap, and it's actually kind of fun. So, like, because it's kind of competitive, um, and, yeah, kind of challenging, it's actually really easy, but, but that's, like, why I choose this over, like, getting tokens that much, unless of, like, so, like, whenever I get done with every single quest being everything, this is probably the only quest, uh, Crescendo and, um, uh, going trophy that I'm only gonna play for um, fun or tokens because for Sendo, that's I adore that game. That's probably that's gonna be on number one soon in this video, and yeah, so that's the reason why I think Golden Trophy is on number two. And so, yeah. So for number one is Crescendo, cause I adore this game. It is actually a really fun quest. For quest, uh, for quest users, uh, unfortunately they can't play this game, nor our lost goals. Um, but Crescendo is a really fun game. Um, it's really long, and that's what's so fun about it, cause like you spend more time with your friends, killing enemies, having fun. Um, and this is actually really, uh, uh, probably the most popular quest that's going to be for this Halloween, since that it's like probably all spooky and crap how there's bats and skeletons. So, yeah. And I'm actually still playing this game for, um, the yellow set grinding, and I'll be doing a video of getting everything in Crescendo soon, and probably the next week or two. Um... And I don't I don't even know what else to say about this game. Just like I, I just love it, like because oh yeah, the one problem that I don't really like about this game though is the the people that ask for carries. It's it's really annoying because like if they see me wear midnight or just any cape. The reasons why I'm wearing those, I just like the outfit. I just like the fit with it. I don't want to show off if anyone's saying that, hey, I'm trying to show off. Um, like, they're, they're just really annoying because it needs to stop. Like, they just keep on asking for carries. But some Crescendo people out there do carry it. But in my opinion, like, they, they got to earn it. Like... They just gonna let that one guy so because soloing crescendo takes skill and sweat and a lot of energy because if because it's really hard to just freaking throw your whip all day including like once you go to the act two on solo you're probably gonna sweat already and yeah it's just really difficult so I I I, I suggest like going with buddies um and trying get an S plus. Because it'll be way easier and you won't, like, get any sweat. Unless if you have good players, then, yeah, you can get S+. Plus. But, in my opinion, that that's probably the only thing in this game that I don't really like about. So, yeah, those are my three reasons. Those are my top five list of quest games. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like. Probably sub on the channel, hit that notification bell for anything new to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next stream or video. Peace out, Panda Squad.